in America, no one should lose their home to eminent domain for someone else's private use. That's happening to me in Atlantic City. I'm Charlie Birnbaum. My parents came here in 1969. This is a home that has been a vital part of uh, my life and my family's life. My background is in piano performance. Something I never would have dreamed of is that I would somehow wind up in Atlantic City tuning pianos at the casinos. And at the same time, to be able to help my parents as they were getting older. When my dad passed away in 1987, we were able to get mom from the nursing home back into this apartment. And from 1988 through 1998, my mother lived in her own home. I was able to come and check on my mother between my tunings in Atlantic City. And that was taken away from us in 1998. I got a call from the Atlantic City Police that there had been a break-in and uh, someone had come in and brutally uh, beat my mother to death. So we went through that terrible period as a family. And my way of fighting back when I have a tragedy is I work, I do something. I still come here between my tunings in Atlantic City. And that's why this property uh, has meant so much. It was my therapy. We're facing eminent domain. The CRDA, state of New Jersey, has decided to do a development. We're in that development zone. The CRDA is the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority, which is a state agency basically set up to funnel tax dollars to casinos and casino-related development in Atlantic City. Unfortunately for people like Charlie, it also has the power to take private property through eminent domain. In one of the public meetings, I asked, well, you're taking my property, what are you gonna do with it? And the answer was, we don't know yet. I said, you're taking my property, and the best you can tell me, you don't know yet. Charlie's story illustrates everything that's wrong with eminent domain abuse. I don't understand how you can look at Charlie with his deep emotional connection to this place and think, well, they're going to take this away from him, but that's okay because they'll give him some money. What they're attempting to do is not right. It's not fair. It's actually rather inhumane. It, to me, it's un-American. I love this ground. I love this building my sweat and tears and hard work have gone into this building. I'm proud that the building is standing because of my effort and care. The CRDA isn't trying to take Charlie's home because they need it. They're just trying to take it because they think they can. If you look at the property they're planning to acquire, Charlie's way up on this little spur, unrelated to anything else they're taking. You know, Atlantic City is in desperate need of redevelopment. I'm all for it. I have an entire block in front of me that's empty, down to the ground, ready for redevelopment. I didn't know that part of the redevelopment was get rid of me first, and then we can redevelop. Well, that's wrong. We were here first, and we have a right to be here. We lived through the bad. I want to live and enjoy the good.